everyone! I thought today we could do a kukedama together, which is a very relaxing thing to do and also it's a very interesting way to display our plants around the house. So I hope that you enjoy this video and let's get to it! To begin we will add our bonsai potting mix to our bowl. Our houseplant potting mix and our orchid moss and mix. We'll be adding the water little by little just so our mix can start blending together. But remember, this is little by little. And you will start feeling that the materials start to stick together. I'm gonna add more water here and continue to mix until you see that the water drips a little bit, like so. Then we will take our fern out of the pot, just like so, and free the roots from the soil with our fingers. We want to be very gentle here so we don't damage the roots so much. And we will do this until most of the roots are uncovered. Next, we will start to make a bowl with our mix around the roots. Just like so. Be careful with the leaves. And we will continue to add our mix around the roots until we get a bowl that is two centimeters thicker in diameter than all of the roots together. Just like so. And now that we have our bowl ready, we will start using our sheet of moss. So what we need to do is to use this one to cover the bowl and protect it. And to keep it all together, we will use our string. So with our string, we will start at the top of the root bowl and work our way down. So maybe I'm gonna start right here and I'll hold it. And then I'll go diagonally, oh, just let me just here. So you go diagonally, always holding the moss. And then maybe cross over, being careful with the leaves, cross over your string so it gets, it's, hold, it's held there by the other string. And we just keep going. So another one like this. And I like to go over the two strings again just to make sure that it is actually holding there. And now we're just going to go around and around again. Just here maybe I'm going to do one more so it holds in place here. And to finish, we can just make a knot with the same string, just so we know that it's going to stay in its place. So I like to go around like this, then just pull really tightly. And there we have it. Now, of course, to finish up, we want to put a string around so we can hang it. And then we just need to tie it to the twine here. So we're going to do it like so. very tightly and I like to make two knots just in case. We go around and we tie again. And there we have it. Which plant are you thinking about using for your coquedama? I would love to know so make sure to comment below and as always I will see you in the next one. Okay, ciao! <laughs>